And we have several programs of which the Books in Nature initiative got started last year. And uh, we thought we would share a little bit with the public uh, as to what the initiative is about and uh, showcase some of the, the final pieces. And instead of the members of Trustees of Nature talking and boasting about our, the final product, we ask uh, some of the participants if they would uh, be willing to come on ATV Channel 3 and uh, share a little bit about their experience and uh, showcase uh, their book a little bit. So in summary, really and truly, Books for Nature, the goal of that is just to get more literature about Anguilla, in Anguilla, so persons can learn a little bit more. Um, it doesn't mean we're going out there and writing about the birds and the bees that we see out there, but we can have stories, jokes, photo books, a number of things, and it's, it's, very, it's very much open to the participants to decide what they want to do. Uh, but the whole idea is at the end of it, we have something, either a manuscript or a final book piece. It's free um, until uh, you, you decide to take up a copy of the final product, which you pay for. So young people, older folks, kids in school, out of school, it's pretty much open to everyone. And the idea is to provide the participants with the know-how of getting the book published, getting the manuscript prepared, and some of the options, be it self-publishing or going through a, prof a professional uh, publisher. So without saying any more, I'll just uh, turn to a very special participant I have right next to me. My name is Ronika Connor. I went to Trustees of Nature to write a book, a jokes book. This is the jokes book. When I went by Trustees of Nature, I learned how to write a book. Some of the parts of the books are the acknowledgement, the preface, the dedication. Some of the jokes are about doctor jokes, school jokes, animal jokes, centipede and centipede jokes. My favorite one is the doctor jokes. Doctor, doctor, why do I tend to flush a lot? And the next one is doctor, doctor, why do I keep thinking I'm a bee? Trustees of nature helped me decide what color I wanted to the book to be, and they helped me by finding different jokes on the computer, and they helped me with the front page and designing the book. I think that my book will help other children so, so they could start writing different jokes book and other types of books. My name is Nandi Edwards and I wrote a book about sea star stories. For six weeks, I went by trustees of nature on Thursdays so they can guide me and, and talk about how to publish a book and how to put photographs in it. And my mom inspired me to write this book. I like to read, so I thought it would have been fun to write my own book. It might sound scary to write a book, but, it, but it's really not. The trustees of nature will, will guide you through all, through all the way. So maybe sometime you can write a book. I wrote, I wrote about imaginary stories and experiences in Angola and all over the world. This is a story when I wrote about a great day. It's about when I went on a fishing trip. Fine Saturday morning, I went on a fishing trip with my cousins and family friends. I was so excited. I packed my bag and got ready. My family prepared sandwiches and a cooler filled with drinks and ice. We had breakfast. Then my brother and I went to my father's truck. We rode on the back of the truck on our way to Shoal Bay Beach. 
It was very breezy and I enjoyed my ride very much at the back there. When we arrived at the beach, it was very sunny and the blue sparkling water was wavy. We packed our stuff into the boat and then we, and then we all went on the glass bottom boat. We went on the catamaran boat to Little Bay. I saw crabs, turtles, fishes, and coral. I put a piece of squid on the hook, threw in my line, and I caught an ocean gar. It was so much fun. When I was coming off the boat, I hurt my heel. Ouch, that hurts, I exclaimed. While I was on the beach, I collected shells. I decided to tie shells and seaweed to make jewelry. We gathered wood and set up a bonfire and roasted hot dogs and marshmallows on the beach. We did a grand treasure hunt. Every child was so excited. We had to find the follow several clues all along the seashore. Our damp swimsuits became dry as we ran in the sun. We had to dig for a treasure box which was as heavy as a calm, a cement block. It was a box full of beautiful candies. We had a fabulous day at the beach. It, it will help other children by literacy, how to like write, and it'll, it'll expand your mind, like writing about stories and thinking a lot. So that's why I wrote my poem.